It's the realist Jigga Bay Tiller and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about this black tourmaline crystal that I've had for two months since the beginning of the new year. Beautiful new year. Um I think I started the new year out right. I'm gonna be answering two questions by the way. Is it real? And does it have spiritual benefits? Okay. And the first reason why I chose black tourmaline as my first um starter crystal right because i'm new to this kind of genre well first of all i resonate with the color black it's my favorite color if you didn't know but anyway um that's the first reason the second reason because i wanted a crystal that protects my energy as my starter crystal it's a shield right it, it serves as a shield rather than something that gives you positive energy this protects your energy so i hope you understand what i'm saying by that but my third reason is because it's in abundance, right? Uh, it's one of the most popular ones, and there, it has, like, the most uh, reviews on it. So, those are basically my top three reasons. Um, I got this crystal from Amazon, which you should not trust Amazon. Unless you find a organization or business, um, like a startup business, kind of like a, a small business is what I mean, who does her best to, to provide genuine products for you shout out to ayana wellness uh, i'll put her name on the screen right now this is where i got my black trembling crystal it has very 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 good reviews i trusted it right i put my faith into that specific you know business and i got the crystal and this is when i answered the first question right or actually i got an idea as to whether or not this is real and in terms of did this actually come from earth right is this an earthly crystal or is it man-made and gmo well i can say from my first impression they gave me a really good first impression when i got it out of the box and i smelt it and the crystal had a dirt like scent to it right it genuinely smelled like it came straight from the earth And, you know, that's a good start, right? And my second reason as to why I believe it's real, and I just now tried this because I think it's the best test for me to try right now, uh, personally. So I, um, I put it on the mirror right there. I scratched it against the mirror because this is supposed to be a hard crystal, right? I checked the hardness of this black tourmaline crystal. It's like a seven on the scale. And it's basically supposed to leave scratches on the glass, right? And... If the glass somehow leaves scratches on the crystal, it's supposedly fake, but I've determined that it's real because it actually left scratches on the glass surface. Now, was that the smartest thing to do? I don't know. I don't think anybody will notice the scratches, but hey, I'm just, you know, happy that there's two indicators already that my crystal's from Earth. My main concern was, is this from Earth, like actually from Earth? And... Because I want to connect to Earth, right? And I just love a beautiful natural necklace, right? So that's basically the first part. The second question is, does this have spiritual benefits? Which is also, you know, my, like my secondary concern. Uh, I do think, I'm still, I'm still, I don't know. It's hard for me to conclude that it does have spiritual benefits. Um, I'm still very open-minded about the idea that it could be placebo effect especially with um taking other people's personal experiences into mind i just really love how this crystal specifically serves as like a shield for you to protect your energy right so if it does you know end up you know having spiritual benefits that science somehow hasn't you know scientists somehow haven't proved yet then you know that's a big w on the scoreboard you know what i'm saying uh, especially with so many people out there who um, are skept skeptical of crystals. And this is something I'm thinking about. If every person in the world wore some kind of crystal, whether it be black tourmaline or some or other crystal, you know, whichever one resonates with them the most, if every 8 billion people on this earth were to wear a crystal, would we really have this much war in this world or would we have more peace? To be honest with you, it's kind of a weird way to answer the question, does it have spiritual benefits, you know? 
I would say this makes a difference. This would make a difference in everybody's lives. Just because think about the atom on the atomic level, the, these all of these atoms of this crystal are vibrating on the atomic level. Why, right? We can't see it. Basically, everything is vibration. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency. Right? I use those three terms almost interchangeably, but basically they all uh, complement each other. Um, but I'm on the. I'll just tell you this, like truthfully, I'm leaning on the side. I'm leaning on the side of believing that it does have spiritual benefits, but I'm also open to the idea that it's placebo effect. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if y'all are interested in like learning about my personal experiences, I can say I feel, I feel, not like emotionally feel, but I spiritually feel. You know, really like my soul feels that it's a lot better. It feels a lot better when I have this around my neck, right? Like, because it's right on my body, right? The only thing between this crystal and my skin is the shirt, right? But even if I were to like put it inside, there wouldn't be much difference, you know what I'm saying? Because it's more like the energetic aura, like it's, it's like a field of energy, right? Um, I, I'm just going off topic, I feel like, so I apologize for that. Essentially, when I first got this crystal, I cleansed it, right? You gotta cleanse it if you actually want the spiritual benefits. Um, so I did that. It's basically like for energy protection, right? When you receive this crystal from an organization or business or some other individual, you want to cleanse it to rid of any potential negative energies, you know, kind of like a reset button. Um, so I ran this underwater and then I placed my crystal on the windowsill to leave it out overnight, you know, to collect the moonlight and its energy. Um, I forgot what the moon phase was. I'm, that's not my specialty, so I don't know which moon phase I should have let it out during but I just know the first time around it wasn't a new moon but the second time around it was a new moon so if that creates a difference let me know uh, but I did I did sit out on my windowsill left it out in the moonlight overnight and then you know just picked it back up you know decided to wear it for the first day I felt pretty good and then fast forward to a month later I cleansed it again I left it in the dirt and not inside the dirt, but just on dirt, and then let that collect um, moonlight. So that's basically cleansing it. Um, I've been advised to do it every month, but um, yeah, that's basically it. it. Leads me to where I where I am right now, the present moment. You know what I'm saying? And I hope this attracts a group of people that are very you know spiritually intelligent, but also those who, if you're watching this, maybe you are spiritually just learning a lot of new things like me right i'm learning a lot of new things about the spiritual realm and how we are interconnected and all that so I've, i put myself in the intermediate category definitely not not a beginner but maybe like a level above i'm not advanced you know what i'm saying i'm that in between you know what i'm saying i'm going from 3d to 4d to 5d you know what i'm saying well that's for a different video um I love the idea of crystals, you know, like I said, if everybody wears them, I think we'd all collectively raise our vibration, you know, as like a collective consciousness, but that's just my belief system at this point. Um, I'm definitely still open-minded about, you know, everything that's possible. <coughs> my apologies. I, I, I think my crystal's uh, supposed to protect me from my coughs, but hey, um... Hey, let me know about your uh, personal experiences with uh, black trimming crystals as well as other uh, crystals. And let me know what my second crystal should be. Hey, I know I, I didn't mention this in the video, but like this is supposed to be for like the root chakra, right? Which is a brilliant decision by me that I didn't know until later. But, you know, because you're like when you're working on your chakras, you want to work from bottom up, right? So the root chakra is first, right? And this one it's like the grounding you know crystal let me know if there's like a sacral chakra like the, the second chakra crystal or maybe should i get a throat chakra because my i, I look he got a sore throat right now you know is there a crystal for a sore sore throat sore throat anyway uh this video is getting out of hand <coughs> but hey i might leave this in the video i might not just know this video is ending for a reason it's to make true a vision we believe in.